good afternoon everyone good afternoon so should we start somewhere yeah sir so. okay so somewhere of which city you are from uh, i am from kanpur uttar pradesh great so can you tell me something about your city kanpur uh yeah so sure. kanpur is uh, a major one of the major cities in uttar pradesh it is also known as the financial capital of uttar pradesh and is the ninth largest economy uh, urban economy uh apart from this uh major rivers that flow through kanpur would be ganga and most popular things about kanpur would be that the first woolen mill was set up in kanpur known as lalimli apart from that kanpur is also very famous for its leather and textile industry leather and textile so can you tell me what is the manchester of north i think uh, kanpur is what is referred to manchester of north what is manchester by the way why do we say manchester what is the meaning of manchester uh, maybe because it's an economic hub and a lot of industries are present in kanpur maybe that's why what is manchester what is the literal meaning of the dictionary meaning of the manchester manchester is a boy manchester is a girl manchester, manchester. is a city city uh, okay 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 and it is known for industrial hub it is known as an industrial hub i'd say where it is located manchester which country um, it's located in the us us okay 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 tell me something more about some so me i have gone through your documents i have seen that you have you know past 10th 12th you are from science background so is there anything you want to say which is not there in your form uh, i would like to mention a little bit about my co curriculars apart from the academics i was also a part of the school choir from class 6 to 12th and i've also participated in certain uh, debates declamations and creative writings at inter school level Uh, so i think i'd say that the being a part of the choir has helped me uh, a lot to recognize how a team actually works and how to work in harmony among with a lot of people and uh, the creative writing and declamation competitions have helped me to value all types of opinions even if i don't agree with most of them uh, how much did you score in uh, uh, in maths in class 12 maths uh, i scored 100% 100 percent did you you did score what is the value of cot 30 uh, cot 30 would be root 3 would be root 3 okay can you uh, tell me that what is the differentiation of e to the power x could you please pardon what is the differentiation of e to the power x e to the power x would be uh, differentiation right yeah d that by would, dx that would be e to the power x and what is the integration of d to the e to the power x uh, x into e to the power x x into e to the power x okay 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 so here uh, can you please tell me that what is your interest uh, uh to state my interest in hobbies i'd say that i really like singing i like uh, reading books mostly crime thrillers watching movies and cooking as well so what is the difference between hobby and interest a uh, hobby is something that i do for a leisure whereas interest is something that i could benefit out of in a long run Okay, so then in that case, I repeat my question. What is your interest? Okay. I'd say my interest would be singing, and then I'm also interested in learning about uh, various languages and cultures. Although I haven't had a chance to learn a particular language that thoroughly yet, but that would be something. Who is your Who is your role model? Who is your model inspiration? I think I have learned a lot of things from various people, but to. Uh, generalize i'd say it would be my father who's my role model because i have seen him growing up and uh, he's managed to pull through all the struggles and that's how i'd like to lead my life to but except your family is there anyone i think there's no one in particular but there's a lot of people that i draw inspiration from in various fields name any one of them um i'd say our president only mr narendra modi like uh, a lot of narendra modi is the president of the india prime minister i'm sorry prime, prime minister. minister who is the president of india uh, prime minister uh, president is draupadi murmu who is the vice president of india uh, vice president is jagdish dhankar jagdish dhankar who is the uh, uh, lok sabha speaker uh, i'm not sure who is rajya sabha speaker not sure about that no. who is our railway minister Uh, railway has been a news in the recent times yes who is the railway minister uh, railway minister is mr ashwini vaishnav mr ashwini vaishnav ashwini vaishnav ashwini vaishnav fantastic very good very good so i mean 
some conflict is going on between Ukraine and Russia since last a year or so. What is your opinion on that? Can you put some light? What's happening in the Ukraine and Russia? Any idea? Something is happening. You must have gone through the news or so many articles. So my question, I'll let me uh, phrase my question. Number one, what is happening? And what's your take? And how can we end it? How can we put an end to this thing? How can we quell this quarrel? Uh, quell this war? How can we put an end to this war? What's your views on this? Okay, so what's happening is uh, Ukraine had urged uh, President Biden to let it join NATO and Russia wasn't happy with this because it didn't want NATO interfering with the policies of the East and that's why uh, Russia uh, kind of attacked Ukraine, sent a full-fledged army and then proceeded to attack on Ukraine and uh, ever since a conflict has been going on and I think a lot of countries like the US and uh, the UN have intervened in the war particularly to curb it uh, without uh, the use of any weapons and India has also had a neutral take on it so far because uh, it doesn't want to hamper its relationships with Russia which are very beneficial but it also doesn't want a war to take place so I think uh, according to me the solution would be to uh, as many other political conflicts to talk it out amongst the major countries that are involved and settle the conflict amongst themselves yeah so what is the full form of NATO, if you may please? I'm not sure about that. I'll have to read upon it. Never mind. Um, so Soumya, are you comfortable with capitals like Indian states and their capitals? I can try. Okay, we'll play a rapid fire very quickly. Okay. So I will say the name of the state and you can say the capital or say pass if you don't know. Okay. Gujarat. Gandhi Nagar. Jammu and Kashmir. Pass. Arunachal Pradesh. Pass. Uttar Pradesh. Lucknow. Madhya Pradesh. Mopal. Okay. Maharashtra. Mumbai. Okay. Um. So, who all are in your family, Somya? Uh, my family includes my parents, and I have an elder brother. You have a elder brother. Elder brother. Yeah. So, if we were to ask your mom to describe you, what would she say? I think she would start off by describing me as someone who's very quiet because uh, to other people I am, maybe not according to her but then for a generic opinion she'd start off by saying I'm someone who's very quiet and someone who's very dedicated to whatever I'm aiming at. Uh, she would also describe me as very hardworking because she's seen me through the past year uh, trying my best to prepare for this examination and I uh, think she recognizes that. So, Soumya, um, we're going to have an extempore now. We'll give a topic and it would be great if you can speak for a minute or so. Okay. So, the topic is, should mental health be introduced in school curriculum? If yes, then why? And if no, then why not? Yeah. Do, I get to um, do I get time to think about it? Definitely. Would you like to have a pen and yeah, paper? Sure. We live in a society where mental health is no longer considered a taboo. I'd say people are more openly uh, talking about it day by day. And uh, one of the generation that is severely suffering with mental health would be the adolescents and teenagers. Uh, even so many surveys and researches have shown that uh, the school students and college students primarily who are burdened a lot by their curriculums are the ones that are under a lot of mental pressure. Thus. Uh, suffering from various mental ailments so I think that angst and that teenage uh, burden is something that needs to be curbed that needs to be addressed thus if mental does I think mental health should definitely be introduced in schools and colleges and every other educational institution because it will be it will provide a platform to students to come out and discuss all the problems that they've been facing without having to be judged about it and it will also uh, provide them a safe space where they'll be free from the peer pressure uh, of their of whichever institute they're in and it would be like a reverse psychology played on them that uh, the place that is actually burdening them the most is now trying to help them out of it 
So I think introducing uh, schemes relating to mental health and helping students out would be great, and which in turn which also would also help their performance, of the academic performance a lot, and in turn help the institute as well. Lovely. So Soumya, we now move to the last question of this interview. Three reasons why you would be an ideal candidate for the IPM program. Uh, I think uh, practicality and rationality is something that I would bring to the table first and foremost because instead of jumping to conclusions, I try to assess a particular situation first and then present my verdict on it. Uh, secondly, I'd say that, I'm, when I, that when I'm posed with difficulties, I try to maintain my composure, which in turn helps with assessing the problem and in turn solving it. Thirdly, I think that this reputed institute will only help better furnish the qualities that I already have and would also uh, provide me a platform to inculcate more qualities, which in turn would benefit both me as an individual and the institute. Okay. So practicality and rationality, composure, and then this institute would help you in building up on these qualities. Yeah. I have one follow-up question. Sorry, I said that the previous one was the last. I have one follow-up question. Where do you see yourself? 10 years down the line. Okay, so I would say that I haven't set any long-term goal, any long-term goals for myself as of now. Uh, to talk about the short-term goals, one of them would be to clear this exam, mm -hmm. get a seat in the college, mm -hmm. and uh, then learn various things, ex ex uh, get used to the exposure, and uh, in turn get a job at a well-paying company. But if I were to talk about something long term, I would definitely want to start something up on my own in the field of education. In the field of education? Yes. I see. Thank you so much, Soumya, for giving us your time. It was a pleasure talking to you today and we wish you all the best. Thank you. All the best. So, my first feedback to you is that confidence is the key, content is the king. Huh? Content was good, I guess. But like in, as far as the confidence is concerned, you need to speak a bit louder. That is my feedback. बहुत बढ़िया था तुमने बताया कि मैं choir में थी और फिर उसका एक practical application जो मैंने life में उतार रहा है उससे मुझे team work सीखने को मिला ये चीज हमें अंदर जा के भी school में सिखाई जाती है कि जब कुछ बोलो तो बताओ उसने तुम्हें benefit कैसे किया उससे तुम्हें क्या सीखने को मिला या उसका कोई proof तो बहुत ही बढ़िया